हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज दीप्ति योर एडमिशंस काउंसलर आज हम इस वीडियो में बात करेंगे स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पर्पस एसओपी के बारे में आपने अक्सर देखा होगा कि जब आप किसी भी यूनिवर्सिटी की एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म भरते हैं तो उसमें एक रिक्वायरमेंट होती है कि आप अपना स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पर्पस उसमें सबमिट करें कई जगह पे स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पर्पस कहा जाता है कई जगह पे उसको ऐसे कहा जाता है और कई जगह पे आपको कुछ क्वेश्चंस दिए जाते हैं और आपको उन क्वेश्चंस को आंसर करना होता है क्वेश्चंस कुछ भी हो सकते हैं बट मोस्टली ये आपके पर्सनालिटी लिंक्ड होते हैं या फिर एम्बिशन लिंक्ड होते हैं सो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई होप आप जब इस वीडियो को देखेंगे आपको बहुत अच्छी टिप्स मिलेंगी कि अपना स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पर्पस आप कैसे लिखें और उसको इफेक्टिव कैसे बनाए सो लेट स्टार्ट सो बेसिकली वट इज एन एस ओ पी वट इज अ स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पर्पस सो बेसिकली इट इज द पर्पस ऑफ वॉट यू माइट आस्क सो इट इज अ पर्पस ऑफ एप्लीकेशन टू अ पर्टिकुलर यूनिवर्सिटी एंड टू अ पर्टिकुलर कोर्स टू अ पर्टिकुलर कंट्री बेसिकली इसका पर्पस आपको डिफाइन करना है वाई यू आर अप्लाइंग टू दैट कोर्स वाई यू आर अप्लाइंग टू दैट कंट्री वाई यू आर अप्लाइंग to that particular university. So इस statement में क्या क्या चीजें cover हो जाएंगी Cover होगा who you are basically, your ambitions and your motivation to apply and study in this particular university. अगर मैं short में आपको ये समझाना चाहूँ कि statement of purpose क्या होता है So in my opinion, it is as simple as your story. It is your story. about who you are and what you want to do what you want to study and what you want to achieve after you study in that particular university so it's your story ab isi perspective ko hum dimag mein rakh ke let's see how we can write an effective statement of purpose so basically since it's a story so my question to you is how do you want your story to be right since it's your story how do you want your story to be well narrated right because your story all stories unless they are well narrated we don't like them we want stories to have a perfect timeline it should be well narrated it should be interesting of course we all like interesting stories third it should reflect your individuality because it's your story you have to narrate how you are different from other candidates who are applying to the same course to the same university so of course it must reflect your individuality honest we all like honest stories don't we it should be honest the story should also be convincing of course we all like convincing stories memorable there are so many applications there are so many students who have applied to the same course same university but the people who are screening your application aisa aap kya likhenge that it should be memorable right so these are the these are some of the things that you should take care of while you are narrating the story since you are the narrator you so these are the things that you will focus on but the university so there are two sides to the story one is the audience and the other one is the narrator narrator ka humne dekh liya ki unko kya cheeze dhyan mein rakhni hai but being the university what is it that i care about jab aap mujhe apni story suna rahe hain what are those things that i am thinking about why you so these are the answers i want in your story why you are you a fit If you know about the university, the course, the curriculum that you are applying to, so आपने कितनी thoroughly research किया है? How will you contribute to the university? आप मान लीजिए आपका enrollment हो जाता है. Are you one of the students who will contribute uh, participating in different activities or by uh, you know by being academically very bright? will you open other doors for the university in some way other than that they will look at how motivated you are 
right so you have to write your motivation very clearly do you have clarity of your goals it is very important whether or not you have your short term and your long term goals in mind and how clear are you about achieving them through the course that you are applying to so these are some of the questions that the university is looking uh, the answers to while they are listening to your story so keeping all this in mind i have listed down few elements that make an important part of statement of purpose one is as you can see on the screen one is purpose purpose for choosing the country university course and major so you must write your purpose second is passion your short term and long term career goals that align with the course and the university here in passion you can also mention your extracurricular activities that you pursue you can also write down the skills that you want to gain during the program which you will apply to your long term and short term goals third is personality your strengths and weaknesses and your unique skills next is academic and project based experience so if you have participated in any program you must mention that and if it was a practical uh, project you must also mention your takeaways from the pro program you know what you have learned basically after pro participating in that program link between the program your skills and the goal obviously you have to make a link between all three what you bring to the table so let's say you get an enrollment letter from the university how you are going to contribute to the university other than that you know if you have these elements in place in your statement of purpose i think your statement of purpose is going to be an effective one other than this maybe you can take care of uh, easy language so i believe that the easier the language the better it is for others to understand um, another thing is that you must always put focus on cultural importance who is going to read your uh, statement of purpose always keep that in mind and be culturally and um, in your language be sensitive uh, so this is all you know this is uh, what i have thought about it i will also give you a brief structure to follow so there will be an introduction uh, as you can see on the screen i will put it briefly here for you so introduction which course and why in this why you can mention your short term and long term goals and why that goal why that interest next is your academic background your interests your projects and how they intersect with the course and the university that you are applying to then you close with your goals and motivation to apply and don't forget to add your contribution to it so here is a simple um, flow to your statement of purpose i hope this video helps you to write a good one whenever you are trying it next for more such information and knowledge about applications please subscribe to this channel and like this video